Hi, today I'm going to show you how to change the poly slicer and the poly slicer junior blades. We're going to start with the poly slicer. The poly slicer has a button at the end of the blade, as you can see here. One side is larger than the other. What you're going to do is that on this side, you're going to push the button out with either a pen, a pencil, or even the little brush that's included in your poly slicer. Once that button is out, you can see, put it aside so you don't lose it. You hold this part two sides, pull out the blade. It's that simple. Be careful that you do not get cut with the blade. You hold that so. Now we're going to take the extra blades that are sold separately and you're going to insert also in the groove. The blade should go in the groove of the poly slicer. You match the hole, push it a little bit, take the button and you push. Make sure that the holes match, push and that's it. You're done. Now I'm going to show you how to change the blade on the poly slicer junior. It's a little different than the poly slicer. The poly slicer junior blades this casing here, the frame, it does not come out of the poly slicer junior. Only the blade comes out of the poly slicer junior, this part here, not the plastic insert. So what we're going to do is take a nose plier because you need to be safe and careful of how to take this blade off. Holding down the sides of your poly slicer junior and uh, or either holding down the plastic part the plastic frame of this poly slicer junior you're going to pull the blade with a nose plier right off as you see and now you're going to exchange it for a new one you're going to hold on the side as so make sure that it goes in the groove like so and all you do is push now insert in the groove and that's it worked. If you would like to order blades for the Poly Slicer or the Poly Slicer Junior, please click on the link below. Thank you for watching.